Oh, it's good, but this one will be inside of Adam, so we get nice uh, so highlighting. So when I'm showing an example program, we can work on it together. Theoretically. All right, everybody, welcome back. It is Thursday, and uh, Caleb's just showing y'all that if you are using Adam and you go and install Adam Pairs package, uh, you'll all be able to edit the same thing instead of using a Google document. And if you're using WebStorm like myself, uh, that's a negative red mark <laughs> for WebStorm. I'm not going to be able to join you on that. <laughs> so, uh, all right, we're glad you're here. And right, right at the beginning of class, Caleb and I were talking before you all got here. I said, you know, there's been a little bit of learning turbulence, right? Like, anytime you're kind of going fast through the atmosphere, uh, you're bound to hit some of that. And this just to extend my analogy, but, uh, but it's pretty impressive how far we've come in three days because when I taught this in the spring out of Fresno State, and I could go on another tangent there, but I won't, um, uh, this is basically the first two-thirds of the class was learning the language and the syntax. It was about two months, two and a half months, and Daniel came in this morning. What did you say when you came in this morning, Daniel? Uh, we've effectively learned the entire first semester of computer science. Wow. Yeah, three days, right? And that's coming from Daniel, right? So Daniel's the <laughs> master of the wisdom. Hey, you feel <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so even though there's been a little turbulence for some of us, uh, all, maybe all of us except a few, um, uh, we've really come a long ways. And uh, and then Caleb's thoughts on that entire deal were what, Caleb? That now that you know, go ahead and share what you said. Yeah. So. We're sort of introducing you to everything in the language. And the reason I did that is the programs we're going to look at use those things. So it was important for us to cover them because if you saw in code like star or ampersand, I have no idea what that is. Now you're like, well, I maybe don't really understand it, but I know that's a pointer. And I can go look it up and try to understand it. So that's why I'm trying to introduce you to all the things. And then we're going to look at a lot of programs and practice a lot. And it'll all start to make more sense, right? There's that you ever heard that famous, uh, what, Rumsfeld quote about known knowns, known unknowns, and unknown is it unknowns? We don't know what we don't know. So I tried to move it from the unknown unknown to the known unknown, right? So you don't really understand it, but you know it exists, okay? Whereas before you didn't know it even existed. So that's the idea. All right. So uh, 